Let's get back out to News 6's James Barvero as we approach uh, a significant moment as the rocket, the, the first stage, uh, prepares to launch on that drone ship, James. Should be just a few seconds away, Justin. Typically, it's around the eight-minute mark of any SpaceX launch, crewed or uncrewed. But here on this crewed mission, NASA, ha NASA and SpaceX have SpaceX's drone ship staged about 200 miles off the Florida coast. That's usually the distance off the coast they stage it from ocean landings. And at just any moment, I'm trying to check in on the NASA feed here. We should see that land. And then another major milestone, we'll stick with you all the way until about the 12 minute mark after launch. That's when the Crew Dragon capsule separates from the rest of the Falcon 9 in the upper stage. And then the crew is inserted into orbit on its path toward it's 29-hour rendezvous the with the International Space Station. And my feed may be, delay, may be delayed a little bit, but I'm looking at the landing, I believe, right now. So it looks like the landing may be successful. Confirmation landing successful. The applause from the SpaceX team out in California. And so now again, as I mentioned, we look ahead to around the 12-minute mark, the next milestone, when Crew-5 is inserted into its orbital path towards the International Space Station on its 29-hour flight. One of the longer flights for the crewed missions to get out to the space station, where they will dock at the space station sometime late tomorrow afternoon, and they will eventually relieve the Crew-4 astronauts. Crew-4 launched here from Kennedy Space Center back in April. The capsule today is the Dragon Endurance. That launched a year ago on Crew-3. Remember SpaceX making two of these orbital missions, these, two of these crewed flights every year, starting with Demo-2, following Demo-2 a couple of years ago. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Julian, Justin, I don't remember weather quite being this good for any of the crewed missions. They had perfect conditions and they had no major technical issues as well. Working through the countdown this morning, everything went extremely, extremely smoothly. And we're happy to report everything continues to look good as those astronauts head towards orbit. Love to see it, James. Thank you so much. What a gorgeous launch. We'll be right back. It's always uh, interesting when when they have this go with no issues, not from yes. countdown all the way through. I mean, we've gotten accustomed to mm -hmm. that. I think you know, there's just there's just a it's it's SpaceX. It's just it feels like it it becomes the norm, even though there are people on board and it is still space and and flying these rockets you know they they say you don't call it rocket science it's not rocket science well this is rocket science and we know the issues that sls has had mm -hmm. and you see how seamless this is with spacex seemingly every time we don't want to jinx it obviously but right. uh, I'm, but it's so it's just so uh, uh, gorgeous to see a launch on a day like today um in a state that really needs it right now and hopefully uh, folks uh, were able to uh, enjoy this and enjoy the weather as, as James mentioned and Mark mentioned. It's just so beautiful outside and the weather was perfect. Yeah. And if you had the chance to go out there and see it, I, ho I hope a lot of folks did. Yeah, you don't often see a 90% chance of go for the weather when we're trying to launch things mm -hmm. here in Central Florida, but that was the case today. No <laughs> issues here. The only issues were at a recovery site elsewhere mm -hmm. because of some high waves out there. And then of course we saw that drone, that first stage landing on the drone ship mm -hmm. in the Atlantic, the drone ship today. Just read the instructions, I think she said it was called. Yeah, Elon Musk, you know, his marketing <laughs> whiz. You know, it's always interesting. Uh, pretty significant moment here. And as there is well. separation. Dragon separation confirmed. Second separation confirmed. That is a big deal. And now the dragon capsule is free. When in doubt, wait for the applause. Yes. That's my. That's that's the one piece of advice I'll give you when watching these yes. rocket launches. Wait for the applause from the smarter folks. The context and, clues, right there. <laughs> the context clues. Uh, but yes, now they are headed out to the International Space Station. Should be there tomorrow. And yeah. we're gonna have much more coming up right after this. Stay with us.